I'm Kevin Vakes from Harman Luxury Audio Group, and I'm very pleased and proud to announce our new relationship and partnership with Trinov. And Trinov brings the best of 3D audio processor technology together with JBL Synthesis exclusive Arcos equalization system, which is the gold standard of equalization. Together, we give you both the best processing for all of the 3D audio formats and the best sound in your home theater with minimal seat to seat variation and our famous JBL Synthesis sound quality. I would like to introduce you to Kurt Hoyt from Trinov Audio, who will tell you more details about the new JBL SDP75 surround sound processor. Awesome, Kevin. This is a great opportunity that we have here. Let's Thank you, Kurt. We're happy to have this great relationship with Harman. Trinov has been looking for opportunities where we can bring our product, the, the Trinov, into the greater marketplace. And there could be no better partner than JBL Synthesis. So with Kevin and I, we put together the demo that we have here at Cedia. So we worked through some mock-ups at Harman and came up with some ideas. And uh, Kevin, of course, worked with the Arcos, and I worked with the 3D sound. So what we'd like to do is, is give you a little insight into what we did here at Cedia in the theater, in the JBL Synthesis Theater. So here, let's take a look at the screen. Okay, so what I would like to do is show you, through graphics, the actual layout that we did for the theater and how it works. In this theater, we are showing all three formats. We're showing Atmos, Oro, plus DTSX. In, in the case of this theater, if we look here, we can see a graphic that represents the actual theater itself. Here, I'll make a larger view of the theater. So what you can see here is an illustration on the actual SDP-75 of the layouts of the loudspeakers in the room. What you are looking at is the green represents 13 um, horizontal channels that, that surround you and then additionally height channels. So let's look at the height channels by moving the, the display and here we can see an overview of the channels and what we have is on the outer we have pairs. There are four pairs of height speakers that can be used for Atmos and then we have inner we have a center top front and an overhead speaker that can be used for Aura. So we use these in different combinations to get a sense of envelopment in this theater for all three formats. So let's take a look at each of them. If we were doing Atmos, we actually can use all 13 of the bass loudspeakers, plus we use the, the four pairs or eight loudspeakers for the ceiling. And this gives a complete envelopment of the space. And it's actually object-based sound, so all of those channels are discrete. We're using all of them for all of the content. When we shift over to Oro, Oro is, is more like a traditional theater it uses arrays, so what we do is we effectively use 13 channels, which is a bed of seven channels, so we just eliminate the two wides, and then now we have the three fronts and all of the speakers around in arrays that essentially give us seven channels up to 11, so we're doing pairs, like two side speakers, uh, form one channel, the backs form another, two pairs, and so on, all the way around the room. And then for the heights, we now invoke the middle ones for Oro because that's part of the format. Oro has up to six loudspeakers for the ceiling. So in our case, it would be the three fronts, left top, center top, right top, then overhead, Voice of God as it's typically known, and then there are two side top speakers for Oro, and you can combine those with the rays going back of the room, and that's what we do. The last format, DTSX, and this is a premiere at the show, people showing DTSX, currently in its vision, it's a 7.1.4 system. So it's very similar to Oro, but only you have four heights. So we do the same thing in the bass. We share the, the, the bass level, we share the combination of speakers. So we have two sides that are combined together, two backs, and so on. And then for the tops, rather than just using four loudspeakers for the tops, because of how they're positioned and where the spatial image should occur, 
we're actually using pairs of loudspeakers. So we're using all eight speakers that we use for Atmos. We're also using those very effectively for DTSX. So that gives you a little insight into what we can do here. And of course, the SDP75 can run as many as 32 channels. And in the formats, that means for, for Atmos, there are up to 34 possible combinations of locations. So depending on your particular needs and your particular theater, we're going to sign up to 32 channels in your room. And then for the other channels, we can actively matrix those, place them into arrays to get the most effective use spatially of those channels as well. And ultimately, of course, we may see these formats change with more channels, either from Oro, who has, who has announced that they're going to go to object-based next year, and of course DTS, which also the underlying channel base for, for DTSX can go to a very high channel count. So we could expect in the years to come that they'll have more channels as well. So thank you for joining us here at Cedia in Dallas, JBL Synthesis. Cheers.